So you'd have to watch me cutting up all this chicken, I've already done like a bunch of it. Doing about half a kilo of chicken thighs, get them in chunks, and we'll fry them up. And we're going to make a pie tonight, which I've been wanting to do for ages. Usually I make a mushroom pie, mushroom and ricotta, I don't have ricotta, but I've got all this excess chicken, so here we go. And I've never made this pie before either, totally winging it. And um, I'm sure it'll be good. A little bit, it's going to be quite, hang on, I'll just give them a treat. It's going to be quite hey, excited about fancy. this. And squeaking the whole way, at least until we start to get it cooking. Okay. Well, Fancy's interested too. Oh. We been. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> like I say, there's good reason to have a dog in the kitchen. I'm leaving. Uh, these chickens are getting suddenly eviscerated. I'm probably just going to use four thighs. So this is the last of the four. That'll do us. Now, I want to get the pastry way to bake so I'm going to try and get two of these sheets out actually only just three it's going to be big pie so there may or may not be a recipe for this up online in the in the captions blurb in the blurb, in the blurb, blurb of the video just push see push, more and you can you see go. the entire just recipe see more, and you can see the recipes I'm just going to leave them to defrost it'll take a minute uh leeks leeks <laughs> Links are delicious, nutritious, hearty, but really annoying to prepare and Bear hates them. The trick with them is you just got to give them a good wash. Get them into some nice rings and they'll go in this colander here. Shits me how expensive leeks are. I mean, they're bloody easy to grow. And they sell them for like two or three bucks each. They're full of all this dirt. This is the thing. This is why we've got to get them in the colander, get them washed. Get every last good little bit out. That'll probably do because I've got so much of the stuff. Before I do the other leg, I'm just going to get this chicken browning off. A little bit of oil, not too much. Fire. If I can get the fire. Fuck, that's a lot of chicken. Okay, let's wait till it starts sizzling and I'll go back to my other leg. Jesus, this is going to be a huge fire. The other humorous thing about making this pie is I don't actually have a pie dish. Come back in, you bastard. So I'm making it in like a big casserole pot, but it'll work. It's like chicken that you get from the shop. $16.17 worth of chicken. Not a trivial No, no, there's, that's like, like half of it in there. It's not even half of it. Okay. The other half went in the laksa the other night. Laksa, which I'll make for you guys sometime soon. I won't talk about it now because it's a totally different story. Now that chicken's on the stove, little bit is flossy mojo. I'm just going to brown this off, not really cooking it, just throwing it around in a very hot pan, and then it's going to come out, and I'm going to cook the rest of the stuff in the chicken pan. Then so let's go in. These leeks, break them all up, try and get them in the little rings, blast them with water, get all the grit out of them. There's nothing worse than grit in your pie, is there a little bit? There's nothing worse than grit in your pie. That's right, Bear. I'm cooking pie for you. Well, that's going to take another minute to brown. I'm going to get an onion ready too. We know about chopping onions. I've got nothing else to tell you. I'm just going to chop this quickly. I'm going to do some garlic too in a minute, which um, is completely unnecessary. We want to sort of maintain the leek flavour a bit in this, but I'll put a little bit of garlic in just as a little flavour boost. How's that chicken looking? Right, and in this delicious chicken juice goes the onion. Washing the onion off the board again, of course. Two garlics. This stuff's so old and shit, but anyway. Trip of garlic actually. Cut it into chunks, but you want to get garlic really fine when you cut it up so you get the maximum amount of flavour. More surface area, more flavour. So once you've just sort of diced it like that, grab some salt. A little sprinkle of salt on there. 
And the salt does a bunch of amazing things. It helps it stick together so you don't get bits of garlic flying in your face and all over the bench. It sort of acts as an abrasive to sort of mash it up a bunch, which is awesome. And it also partially cooks it, so if you're using it for like a guacamole or something, you probably don't want too much like raw garlic flavour in there, but you put a bunch of salt and it sort of like halfway cooks it so it's not sort of spicy, which is awesome. Okay, so now that we've absolutely maximised the surface area of this, that can go in the pan, get that through there, and we'll chuck the leeks in, and then we've got to do the pastry. Pastry's kind of expensive, you could make your own, but honestly, who's got time for that? I can't be bothered for one. Now that looks like a lot of food, but those leeks are going to shrink down a bunch. Just break them up, get them all into rings as much as you can. That's going to be on a medium heat for maybe 10 minutes. And I might just chuck a little bit of water in there to help it all cook evenly. A little bit of water just to help it cook. Now, as I said, I don't have a pie tin. I've got like a large casserole dish. So, do what we can with this. Now I'm just going to butter the crap out of the pan so the pastry doesn't stick. Smear this lump all over it as best we can. Nice and buttery. That'll do nicely. So, pastry is now suitably flaccid. And you could be really picky with this as well and do it all neatly, but honestly it's a pie. It's going to get smashed in the end. So, it doesn't really matter. So long as there's pastry and chicken and goodness all in there, everyone's happy. But that can go there. This one. Whack this in around the side, smoosh it into the other pastry. It's just excitement and adventure. Yes, that's right. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Let's sort of make up that. That'll do nicely. Get it right into the corners. Now we've got to blind bake this, otherwise it's just going to be soggy. Of course, I don't have any baking weights or anything sophisticated like that. So, a bit of baking paper. The purpose of that is just so as the rice that I'm about to pour into that doesn't stick to the pastry. Chuck all of your rice in there. And that's going to go in the oven about 200. Also, if you've got a gas oven, don't bother preheating it. I mean, it gets up to heat in like a minute, you know. So, that can go in there. That's at about 200. That'll take about 10-15 minutes. And meanwhile, we'll finish this off, and then we're going to pour it into that, put the lid on, and bake the crap out of it. So I'll add some flavours to this. As with just about anything, a good bay leaf. Remember to take it out at the end. Uh, oh, at any time. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. All right, anything I want. Some thyme substitute. A bit of dried sage. About half a tablespoon. There's my black pepper. Never find anything in this kitchen. Alright, we'll use white pepper again. Load of that. A little bit of bizarre stock. Just a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon. Bears getting frisky, which is awesome. Let's put a bit more water, just to get a bit dry in there. Oh man, that's smelling good. Alright, so you can see how these leeks have really started to collapse in on themselves, which is what you want. The onion in there is smelling nice and toasty, which is awesome. And now I'm going to chuck the chicken in. Now that doesn't want to cook for too much longer with the chicken in there, obviously it'll get dry. We are also going to bake the thing for like 20 minutes after this, so just get that through. I don't know how it's going to work, but we will find out. <coughs> Again, sorry, three meals in a row I'm making a roux. Why is this guy just cooking so much butter and flour? Because it's awesome. That's going to take a little while to melt. Man, this is going to be so good. Yeah, I totally forgot I was going to put mushrooms in this, so just slicing some mushrooms. There's also a grabby pile of cheese here. We'll see what that's for later. These mushrooms should have probably gone in when the leeks went in, but you know, we'll just chuck them in now, should be right. So that's a few mushrooms. They'll shrink down as well. Where's that butter going? There we go. Okay, so the butter's hot, flour goes in. It's about, I don't know, a tablespoon, heaps of tablespoon. That's on a low heat. Cook that up. And I'm going to make with this like a white sauce to go through the pie. And it's going to have some cheese in it, which is going to be delicious. I'm going to get these mushrooms in there. That's looking awesome. Man, how good does some black pepper be in this? Ah. Keep that cooking. So butter and flour is on a low heat, remember, so it doesn't burn. This is just stewing, also on a low heat. Probably go off pretty soon after those mushrooms. Pour a little bit. Not a lot to do now except wait for stuff to cook. Yeah, I'll tell you what we could do. If you grab like an obscene gourd from the cupboard, just like smash the shit out of it. Because 
these things are fucked, man. Like, what are you supposed to do with them? Seriously? I don't know, man. In the compost. Come on, good stamp it. They're intrusive fuckers, aren't they? They won't be destroyed. They'll sit in the cupboard for weeks. Alright, this roux is getting good, so... Alright, forget the vegetable for now. Um, a little bit of milk. So have a look at this. This is going to go all fucked. Put a bit of milk in here. A little bit like, yeah, chunky and disgusting like that, which is awesome. That's exactly what you want. This heat's nice and low. Looks foul. A little bit of milk at a time. Just sort of whisk it through and then start to smooth it out. Yes, here we go. This is how we make a white sauce. You can flavour this with all sorts of good things if you want, depending on what you're cooking. Nutmeg and bay leaves. I'm not going to bother because we've already got enough flavour in the pan there. Just come along nicely. Cut a loop. And we're going to chuck in a bunch of cheese. Might be too much cheese. Too much cheese? Well, it is a big pie. Yeah, right, fair enough. I'll put the rest of the cheese in as well. So what would that be, like 150 grams, just a plain old cheddar will do. Keep that stirring until it all melts and lumps are gone. This is looking awesome. It's a bit more milk actually. Try and get it sort of thin enough. Playing it by ear. Wants to be goopy enough that it's not going to make the pastry all wet, but it's got to be thick enough that it holds stuff together and that looks pretty good. Alright, so look, that's a nice cheese sauce right there. I haven't flavoured it or anything, like I say, but that's alright. The pie's flavour some enough. Get all that in there. Good oh. that now. And that is one unbelievable pie filling. It's probably actually a bit liquidy still. I'm going to put the heat on and try and get a bit of the juice out. There. We'll get this pie going pretty soon. It's probably about time for us to go up and bottle shop, I think. Let's have a look at this pastry. It's probably nowhere near ready, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, it's puffing up a bit. What do you reckon, Bear? Chicken pie for dinner? Yeah. Well, I just ate one of the bay leaves here. Tag's gonna have the other one, because they're awesome. Oh. <laughs> mm. Seriously, that's the best bit of cooking, I reckon. How is it that everything I make just looks like brown slop? It's like a talent, man. I can make the most tasty brown slop you'll ever have. Alright, let's have a crack at this pie. <laughs> How long has that been in there? Uh, it's probably been 15 minutes. I'm gonna remove this all in one go, and not end up with any rice in the pie. There you go. It's a little bit cooked. It's still pretty soft. So you want to get your pastry probably a bit more cooked than that, but um, I'm in a rush, so here we go. In goes the pie contents. Man, I've got to write up a recipe for this. Don't forget to mention the things you left out, like black pepper. Yeah, should have had loads of black pepper. Or something else. Should have oh, had egg. an egg on the top, which is going to be a sad thing to not have an egg on the top. I'll brush it with some milk. It's looking pretty good. Nicely. Bear's getting excited. Pastry bear? Like I say, I don't make anything pretty, but god damn it, this is gonna taste awesome. Rock and roll. Put a slit in it if I can to let it breathe so when it's in the oven a bunch of that liquid can steam out the top. Ideally what you want is you want to whisk an egg up. Whisk an egg up in a bowl, get about that much milk in it as well. I don't have an egg, I forgot to buy one, so I'm just going to brush it with milk. This will still put a bit of gloss on the top, not quite as good as an egg. And it's sad for Little Bear because um, if I had an egg, he would have got to have half of it in his bowl, but I think he'll appreciate the milk anyway. Bear, come on, Oh yes, there you go. No egg for Little Bear. Yeah, sorry mate. Okay. Oh man, you're not going to believe how good this tastes when you eat it. Oh man, that's bloody awesome. This is going to be a killer pie, seriously. And it, like I say, like, no recipe or anything, just made that up. Try it yourself, it's going to be awesome. That'll be in there for 20-25 minutes I reckon. Basically just take it out when the top looks nice and uh, brown and delicious. That's it, let's go to the little shop. Okay, so that's been like probably 15, maybe 20 minutes. It's looking pretty pie-like, I'm fairly happy with that. Very hot, so I'll just put it down. Let's see what happens. When we cut this, oh man, this is going to be so good. Alrighty, now it looks good now. I am about to destroy it. Oh yes, come on. Ooh. There we are. See, if I'd let that cool probably for 10 minutes or so, it would have been a little bit more firm inside. Now, I haven't cooked this before, so I'm going to try it. Mushroom, chicken, leek, deliciousness. Come on. Man, that's awesome. 
That is so good. Alright, and everyone gets a handsome fucking mess like that. Okay. Thanks for watching. This has been fun.